Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pegasus, the one, the only, of course, mister. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 8K Criticism Guide 2009. You guys know the rest of the intro. Like I always do say, people, definitely check out freenetwork.com and, of course, um, troublenetworkstudios.net. If you, any people want to get a professional channel banner design for you, get more comments, get more subscribers, possibly get YouTube popular, who knows. Um, I'll put the link to their um, YouTube channel and, of course, their link to their websites down below if you are interested. That partnership, so yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. So, today, and boy, oh boy, I know this has been going on for about almost a week or two, even like last year, which is about two days ago. It's hard as hell's how hard as hell's that is for me to believe and believe that type of thing. And, um, most people, people see I got my um, very special, special announcement hat, usually it's the New York or LA one I normally use if I got really, really special, special, awesome ass news. And I don't know if I'm going to do two-part or not, I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so, as it actually occurred to me, and uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and I was, I was actually a little hyped for this, because I wouldn't be surprised if they did this, but um, I actually heard from two different sources, which they're not really sources, they're just different other channels. The ones I'd normally talk about once in a while, like Mobone, or Mobile 19, I don't know what he's going by these days. He's a real big Wi-Fi battler. A lot of people might know him already if any of you are in the competitive battling community. You probably know who he is. And um, JPR98, um, some of you people may or may not know who he is, but I actually heard that um, from one of these two. Mulvone didn't really talk too much about it, but he did say that, like, um, they're not sure if they're going to be new Pokemon games. He said it might be at E3 or something possibly this year. I doubt it's going to be early this year. And if they do... It's probably going to be January 6th or 7th, because that's what happened to Pokemon X and Y almost a year and, like, one month ago, exactly. Right, actually, a year and, like, two weeks at, at the most, I don't know. Or maybe two years ago by now, because um, that was 2013. We're already 2015 now. So, my lord, um, he said that, like, it's either going to be at that time or much later. It could be 2016 for all we know. I'm not sure. I have a feeling it might be 2016, and if they do put off something that's going to be different from Pokemon... I don't know, it might be one of their, like, old school, old school things. Kind of like Mega Man a little bit. I forgot what the name of it was, but I remember one of their Pokemon, Bisharp, was from the Universe region, from Black and White 1 and 2, was based off one of those older, like, games that Game Freak did a long time ago, back in the late 90s. So, yeah, that's what the only thing I remember Mobile 19 saying. And I remember specifically what JPR 98 said. And he, I don't know what it is, because I remember last year he showed his face for the Ice Bucket Challenge and not to be rude or disrespectful to the kid, because I think he's like 15, 16 years old, so he's pretty much almost young enough to be my, not even little brother, like, young enough to be one of my nephews. But anyways, um, he's still got a good head on his shoulders. I'm not trying to diss him or nothing like that, you know, because I'm already a grown freaking man. I'm going to be like 26 by the end of this year. But anyways, um, end of this year, end of this month, excuse me, um, where was I? Yeah, he was actually saying, he kind of looks like Neil Patrick Harris a little bit, but just a younger version of him. I don't know why. In my, in my sort of way. If any people seen the Smurfs or Harold and Kumar, if you used to watch that show, um, what's it called? I'm trying to remember the name for it. Um, uh, what was it? Hi, I Met Your Mother. You know you know who Neil Ch Patrick Harris is. And some people know him for him for being homosexual or gay or whatever. You know, I have no problem with that. That's cool. I honestly don't care what gender you people are or like um, sexual orientation. You know, it doesn't matter. But now I'm not trying to get off too hot topic here. So... Let's get back to his point, JPR98. Um, he actually said that um, <laughs> that they're going to have certain mega evolutions or whatever for different games. Is that it's gonna, not just going to be Pokemon Z, but there might actually be a Pokemon like um, W, which the only thing I could stand for is like, I could think that it possibly stands for, and it's probably going to be beyond me, but this is just an educated guess, educational guess. Is uh, Pokemon Wishing Well or something? I don't know. Because we already had that whole wishing thing with Jirachi, so. I doubt that's coming back unless they make a remake for it, possibly, which I wouldn't be surprised to have like so many episodes of Jirachi. We already had it with the Delta episodes with Rayquaza or Rayquaza, however you want to pronounce it, or Deoxys. Um, so they can't do nothing for them anymore because that's already over. So anyways, um, unless they made a mega evolution of primal form for like um, Deoxys, I don't know, I doubt it. Because they already had three different forms from like speed, attack, and... Um, I'm trying to remember the other one. In normal form, I guess, if you want to put that out there. And um, defense and special defense. I don't know if you want to put that out there either. But yeah, I remember JPR, he was talking about a specific source that he found. 
I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. It's probably somewhere on Twitter. Because I remember Mobile 19 saying this one dude that was like the co-founder or CEO of um, Serebi.net, Joe Varick. I think that's what his name was. Because I used to use Serebi a lot, even back in the day. And um, before I started using um, the other two that I normally use sometimes these days, like Bulbapedia and um, the other one. Ah, what was it? Poke Beach, you know? That's my other two sources besides um, Serebi that I usually like follow. And a lot of other Poketubers, or whatever you want to call them, Pokemon fans, what have you in general. But um, getting back to his point, the, the real meat and potatoes, without me stalling so much for you guys, is that he said the list of Pokemon like um, Mega Evolutions that they're going to be having for the future is going to be um, the three Kalos starters, which will be like, um, obviously, you know, Mega Chestnut, Mega Delphox, and Mega Greninja, those three. And then along with other ones such as, um, let's see, i trying to remember the other ones. Like He said something about Mega Gudra being in there, <laughs> Mega Pyroar. Mega, who else? Um, Mega Gujar, Mega Pyroar, Pyro, Mega Aegislash, um, I guess Mega Female Pyro, I don't know. And Mega Talonflame, and a couple other ones that he mentioned. I kind of don't remember them that well, but I'll put the link to both of their channels in the description box below if you want to learn more about their like videos. Unless most of you might know about them by now if you're subscribed to them, or if you found it through your own you know, sort of research. Like I did, you know, not like I did, because I looked at these two guys, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I did. But anyways, um, people, what else? What else did I want to say? Yeah, then he ends up saying like about other Mega Evolutions possibly being out there, like Mega Eevee and Mega Flygon, which a lot of people already know that's might end up being DLC Mega Dunsparce. And then a couple other ones, wild cards that he threw out there. I'm not sure if I buy it too much or not, because I, I could I'm not gonna completely agree with them. I agree with them to a certain extent that um there might be like certain one of those Pokemon that might be just be like feel like fan service, especially Flygon. You know, who in their right mind like, oh my God, like who in their right mind would have like thought that like Mega Flygon, Flygon wasn't gonna get a Mega Evolution? You know, it just it irks the hell out of me that some people still get pissed off about that crap. You know, I'm not gonna say Mega Flygon back in the day he wasn't my favorite at all. Like um, he was a decent Pokemon. He was good, but he wasn't like the top of the chain, you know, power-wise, he wasn't that great, you know, because, um, it took forever me, for me to, like, land hits on him when I used to have the old fly gun back in the day, that crap took forever, I'm not gonna lie, um, a lot of his attacks were crap, except for, like, Crunch, sometimes Feign Attack, and Earthquake, and he didn't get that many good moves, except maybe even Dragon Claw, too, and that's a, he probably gets a lot more new ones, since, you know, that was back in 03, 2003, a long, long time ago. And this was back when I was still in junior high. Real crazy, crazy times. Um, and there weren't the move pool at that time was very, very short. And competitive battling pretty much didn't exist at all. Not until, I think, around the Unova region. That's when it started happening. Or maybe around Pokemon Platinum. Because I remember I seen a lot back in the days, and I'm not going to try to get too off topic. But I will say this, that... Um, there was a little bit of competitive battling going on when Platinum was around, when it was still a big thing back in 2009. And my God, um, weren't too many of them, but there were a few people out there that started getting famous, semi-famous, semi-YouTube famous. Like, uh, obviously, GCPM and a couple other people out there that I can mention, but they don't come into light, into light with me right now. So, um, yeah, other than that, let's see. What else did I, I really want to touch base with? Oh, yeah, um... Then he has, he says something weird about like certain Pokemon like um especially like Zygar. Let's get back to that Pokemon X and Y. He's supposed to be Pokemon Z or whatever. A lot of people have been throwing the hell out of that thing for almost two years already. Straight. Or maybe about a year and a half at the least. Um about Zygar having a possible mega evolution at two different forms. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a mega evolution, but if he gets forms, I wouldn't be surprised about that either. And then they said something different about like you saw on the screen right here. Um Something about Hoopa, how it's Mega Evolution might get another Mega Evolution, which, and not Mega Evolution, it's form, might get a different form, excuse me. That's what I wanted to talk about. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I don't agree with that too much, but hey, anything Game Freak pulls out of their butts, you know, psh, pulls a rabbit out of their app, go for it. Or in this case, a Bunnelby or <laughs> a Baneri out of their magical Game Freak Nintendo hat, quote unquote Nintendo hat. <laughs> Um, yeah, but my own personal opinion, thoughts, views, and opinions on, like, 
which Pokemon game should come out as a remake. And I know a lot of people might disagree with me on this. Maybe a few of you might be jumping on the bandwagon for this, but I would really like to make have like Game Freak like make another pinball game. My own personal opinion. Like, cause way back in the day, we got the old school pinball game for like Generation One. If any people remember that one, Pokemon Pinball, I used to have that back in the days until it got stolen. Oh God, I wish I could kick the bastards' butt for doing that thing to me, you know. And um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but you know, I was very fragile, you know, in the way back in the days when I was a '90s kid. <laughs> Man, I was almost a doormat. It was ridiculous. But anyways, I'm um, not gonna get too personal with that, but. Let's keep it moving with the rest of the video. I really want to get into even more of this information with you guys. But, well, not information, my own personal opinions. Um, you could probably like leave the video now if you don't want to listen to it. That's totally fine. You know, I wouldn't have a problem with it at all. But yeah, um, either that or maybe they could make a remake for like Pokemon Coliseum and XY or XD Gale of Darkness. I would love to see remakes for those games. That was awesome. It was a little bit different. It was from a different region. It was completely out of like touch and out of base with like the other Pokemon games from Generation One through Six, or actually no, One through Three at that time, because you know the Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos region didn't exist yet, not until late, much much later, and whatever other future generations they have out there, they didn't exist yet either. By the time you're watching this video, <laughs> but yeah, um, there's that, and then another game I'd like to see them do maybe remakes for. Even though it's a halfway semi-popular franchise, is Mystery Dungeons. And I'm not going to lie to you people, the first ones I saw, they were complete trash. They were crap to me. I didn't like those at all. I didn't like those Pokemon games at all. I'm sorry, people. Same with Conquest. I didn't like that one very much either. I'm sorry. There might be fanboys and fangirls out there that really, really like those ones. But for me personally, I really don't like those in the slightest bit. I'm sorry, guys. But not until like later on, Explorers of the Sky and um, the one that had Shaman in it. I started having a little bit more of respect for it. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially with the music. My God, the music hooked me. Hook, line, and sinker. It just captivated the hell out of what my expectations was. For that type of like, oh my God, video game was beautiful. Chunsoft did a beautiful, amazing job for like making music like that. I don't know what it was. It had a little bit of a 90s feel to it. Even though this was made in like the mid-late 2000s with this franchise. And it was like 2009 or 10 one was created so maybe if they had a remake for that and put it into like a 3ds like engine that would be very much well appreciated if they did that but uh i don't know if people are gonna start getting tired of remakes or not they're probably just gonna want dlc a lot more for for this game and there's been a crap ton of rumors saying that there might be dlc for this and the only closest thing i can think of dlc being like available for pokemon obviously not really for pokemon it's confirmed already because it already got confirmed last year and this is for all the Smash fans out there that got Super Smash Bros. Wii 2014 or whatever. If you have that game already. Um, you already know that Mewtwo is going to be DLC content for free. Um, so you guys are really lucky as hell to have a Wii U right now. <laughs> and I already talked about this in an older video I did last year. About a couple weeks ago. About how like Nintendo might possibly be, might be having a brand new system. I got like 40 views on that too. That's pretty big for my channel. 40 to 50 is pretty big and... It used to be a hundred and a thousand, but I don't know what the heck happened to the, not the subscriber base, but like, I don't know what happened to YouTube about that, I don't know. Hey, they were like taking out bots that were fake accounts, I have no clue. Um, that's YouTube's thing, and Google's like little organization, but anyways, as I was saying before, um, there's that, and um, of course there's that other brand new future Pokemon game that's supposed to be coming out either this year in 2016, the one that's like... Pokemon Tekken or whatever, the one that's going to be all in, I know I talked about this and a million other people that were Poketubers, they talked about it already with that whole Pokemon like fighting, Street Fighter status type of arcade fighting battle game, thing of it, Bob or whatever you want to call it, that's, a, that's pretty much a mouthful, I apologize for that coming out of my mouth guys. So I know that's either going to be like the end of this year or next year, in 2016 we're probably going to get it next year probably. But 2015, I know in Japan, that's definitely coming out for sure. So shout out to the Japanese guys if you're out there. Unless you know, hey, it's all good if you're like just traveling over there. And if you end up being like, you know, just a tourist over there, definitely check those out. If you're under going like by the end of this year, I think it's going to be fall or winter. Those are supposed to be coming out. Oh my God, I would love to see a DLC game on that. Or at least a sample for like the 3DS on there so I could play it. That would be epic as hell. Beyond every stretch of the imagination, I would love that so much. 
And that's pretty much it. So I'll put the links to those two guys' um, YouTube channels down below. And I'll put the link to the guy's Twitter account down below too. Um, Jose, or Joe Varick, which um pretty popular dude. He's the one that actually made the Cerebi website. I, I had no idea until about two days ago, which was uh, December 31st. <laughs> All right, so that's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, without any more stalling. Like I do say, people, peace out once again. Bros, women, bronies, and pecs. So we'll see when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night. We'll forever around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective, all that good stuff. Until then, that's on, guys. Peace out. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel every single day. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, take it easy. Stay safe. Late and goodbye. I'm out like sour I'll see you guys in the next vlog, all right? Take it easy. See you soon. And uh, goodbye.